Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set review. Today we are looking at set number 76951. This is the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus Transport. It has 254 pieces and is retailing for a total of $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. Now, I was actually able to pick this up from LEGO themselves at a store. It is also available on Shop at Home, but... It is actually a Walmart exclusive. So those are the only three ways that you can get this set. I'm not sure maybe different regions may not have a Walmart, so you can get it alternative ways. But again, Lego will have it. And if you want to, I actually have affiliate links for the first time linked down below if you want to buy them if you are in the US or Canada. This set is, I believe, on back order. That's probably because it was actually up for pre-order. And I think it's sold out as well, the pre-order copies. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's jump into things. Here's the Pyro Raptor, and we're going to start with this because it's the exclusive dinosaur in this set. Uh, the Dilophosaurus appears in other sets in the past, and I like that we have the dinosaur. I like that it's a new one and everything like that. You love the feathers, or maybe I, I, there's probably a more technical term. Leave it down below correcting me, but I do think they really got the colors wrong here. Now that's not necessarily on Lego because of course uh, colors change between concept art that they're given and then the actual final trailers and even in the movie like things can change from the trailers. This the color scheme is completely wrong. Now I hope that down the line maybe they return to Fallen Kingdom and Dominion in their own set sort of like what they did with Jurassic World getting the Indominus back. Anyways my point with this is the color scheme is wrong and I hope that they use this mold down the line. Very flat to me and I don't know, it kind of needs a little bit more rounding when you look at the arms from that side. I, I don't know what it is. It's just very jarring to me to see that. It's not so bad with that arm since it's covered up. But even that leg, I don't know, I guess having the sort of indent there helps a bit. But this arm to me, I, I don't know. It also looks like a, a gingerbread sort of belt. You know what I mean by that? Anyways, the arms and everything, they are molded in place. You cannot move them. The other complaint that I have with this is that the claws could use some black printing. I think that would really add to this as well as the teeth here, um, which you'll see with the Dilophosaurus what I'm talking about. You do have a stud in the back, which is pretty cool. And again, like I, I love the pattern and everything going on here. I like the different shades. You've got dark red and red, the dark brown and the eyes I think work and same with the sand blue. It's just like the body I think should be dark gray, but that's just my personal opinion looking at and trailers and different pictures. Front part here, the mouth, this isn't new. It's come in a bunch of different uh, dinosaurs, especially in this wave, but it can open and close to that size. Now you can kind of, if you want to, you can kind of pose it halfway there, have the mouth open like that. And here's the Dilophosaurus again, comparing it. Look at the teeth there. You've got tan teeth as well as the claws in black. So it is possible to do that, but maybe they just used the, the max amount of colors on that already with everything else going on. Anyways, I think that this is great. It's not exclusive, unfortunately. I think that it would have been great to get just one color different, but this is the exact same one that has appeared in sets before. And uh, this one, is, I don't know, maybe it's just these that are wobbly because of the way that their feet are angled. But again, it's not as jarring there, the flatness. Maybe it's because of the black and it kind of takes away from that and the claw there. But I think that this just looks a lot better. It's got the exact same mouth as the Pyroraptor there. And again, love just the printing and everything like this. But again, it's not new. And here's the car. Honestly, I think this one could be my favorite. I think it's really detailed. It's got two seats on the inside. I love just uh, even the stickers and everything on here. I like the branding that they've got going on. It goes in line with a uh, Biosyn from the lab, the big lab build. Again, I think it's a phenomenal set and you'll see why in a bit, but it drives very smoothly and the little back uh, containment unit will actually sort of turn uh, with the car and or the truck, whatever you want to call it. So again, looks really great. I think that from the front here, I love the front grille with the lights as well as this grille build. You've got a sticker there on the front. Even how they have this piece, they're sort of adding to the detail of the windshield. I think that looks great. The slope parts here, I really like. You've also got the mirrors there so you could see behind uh, any T-Rexes chasing you. Anyways, up above, you do actually have another little grill. I don't know if it's to have like someone actually maybe holding on and, and shooting the tranquilizer at 
the different dinosaurs. The doors actually open up to reveal the inside there, so you could put figures in from the side, but of course the top also is completely removable. And uh, before we look at the inside, I do want to show you the rest of this. So the back part there, we'll look at in a second, is actually removable. All it does there is sit inside, and from the back, you can see it's fine. Like you've got lights, you do have like this uh, electric sort of stick there as well as a fire extinguisher there on the side now this actually does open up to reveal this little like radar dish build that just slides in and out very easily so you just remove that there but like i showed you before you could take the top off to give you access to the rest of the inside so i have taken the two characters there and i'm going to just attach them uh to the different studs for them to sit on the inside so you could put the two minifigures on the inside there so i really like that you could fit two inside and then of course if you wanted to as well you could take the guard and throw them in the back or maybe throw um ian in the back as well or ellie but you could just close it on up again a minifigure can actually fit on the inside and then you just take this and you put it back on top Here's the part I really love, which is actually why I haven't done the combining video. It's because of this. So you can connect it here, and then this little trolley, I guess, in the back actually can open up. And what you're meant to do is you're meant to take one of the dinosaurs and actually attach their feet there to the different stud spots. It doesn't sit perfectly, like they are a little bit loose, but this actually holds them in place, and then you're meant to transport them away. I really like the different lights and everything that you've got on the sides, and then the back here you have a little ramp there that is meant to actually work as a ramp for them to walk on up and then you close this up and drive off now of course if you notice the feet there are actually exactly the right spaces for the studs same here with the atrociraptor that is actually the exact same stud uh, separation I guess away from each other that allows you to put this here and when we do the combining video you'll notice other dinosaurs as well can fit in here and we'll try to see which ones can and can't fit with this and here's a little dish build that you might have saw before I don't know maybe it's meant to scan for dinosaurs I, I really don't know what it's meant to do anyways here you can actually put the other trank on if you want actually storing the two of them there in this little stand and throwing it into the back here's ian malcolm and i really love this figure it's fantastic i love the torso printing but this face printing for an old jeff goldblum is just really awesome and i i really think that the skin color as well is just so much better for him especially comparing it to the grandmaster from marvel i love it it looks great the only bad part here is the the skin color printed on black doesn't really work there too well but I think the face is really awesome again perfect for a custom figure of Jeff Goldblum and uh, if you were to take the hair off here you could see that on the back he does have this frightened expression which I think is really great here is Ellie Sattler now she's not exclusive to the scent uh, this is actually also appearing in the largest set of the wave which I don't really have a problem with since it's a retail exclusive, but I think that maybe she should have been in another set just to kind of draw in people into other sets just because having the legacy sort of characters in that would do that. Anyways, nonetheless, still really great to get the two legacy characters in this one set, and I think that she looks really good. I think that maybe the hair color, maybe a little too bright. I think I maybe would have gone with a tan or dark tan, but the torso printing is really great, and same here with the face. I think that looks really great. I think they captured it pretty well for her spinning it around here on the back she does have this sort of concerned or scared expression and here's the guard included nothing special going on here like the torso printing whether or not this is new or not it definitely looks like something that's happened in the past and uh, the face and hair you know it's fine it's generic nothing too special going on here if i were to take the hair piece off you could see that on the back they do have this upset expression well, there you have it everyone that is my review of the pyroraptor and dilophosaurus transport honestly i think that this was the set that i was really looking forward to the most because of the dinosaurs and specifically the pyroraptor now that sort of disappointed me and the build actually surprised me you know this is like another car and truck build that i've built in this whole wave and I wasn't particularly looking forward to it, but I like the color scheme and just the size of it all. I think it's really great. And the little transport in the back, I'm excited to actually combine it and see what other dinosaurs can fit in the back there. So be sure to stay tuned for that. 
But anyways, everyone, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this set. Be sure to check out the playlist of all of the other Jurassic World Dominion sets, as well as the other Walmart exclusive. I will link that at the end here. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.